Hello kings and queens, welcome back to the channel, your majesties. Thank you so much for always returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Hope you're well in all that you do and you're loving yourself and others like always. You're surrounding yourself with positivity, positive energy and vibration. You know, when you talk about medicine, what comes to mind is hypocrites. Um, you talk about medicine, you talk about philosophy, oh, it's hypocrisy because when you're doing anything about that, they're going to tell you the fathers of philosophy and medicine is hypocrisy. Uh, not knowing that, he went to commit and study this from our own ancient guardian, our ancestors, Imhotep. Now, they don't bring this to light, they don't teach this even to those studying medicine and philosophy. They, they try to, you know, sweep it under the carpet, right? Imhotep was in existence 2,000 years, over 2,000 years before Hippocrates came with his hypocrisy. Obviously, you're going to hear that as the video progresses, right? Um, I, when I checked this thoroughly, I had to do my research as well to see what is what. That was when I discovered, I told myself, no wonder Africans have this connection to medicine. Africans have wise sayings, sayings of philosophy and the rest of them. It's not, it's not coincidence that we are so much in tune to everything. It's not coincidence that we have abilities. Now just look at the doctors in the US. Most of the doctors in the US and, Can and Canada, in America and Canada, um, they are all black doctors. They are African doctors, right? They are excelling. Those in engineering, most of them are from Africa. You know, most of this science and the rest of them, there are people that their origin is, tra is traced back to Africa. They are Africans. Most of the times they travel out to search for greener pastures. Now, why do you think that we excel in those lines and everything? It's because we are connected to everything. We are connected to everything. And they wouldn't say these things. They wouldn't say it to you. They wouldn't say it to you. Now, how can someone who... I came to existence six, okay, 640 BC, now become the father of medicine and philosophy. And they, 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 they don't want to talk about the one who was in existence 2,000 years before that one came to existence. All right. So um, I want us to check this out. There was a black man that was considered the African multi-genius by the name of Imhotep lived 2,000 years before Hippocrates put down his hypocrisy and claimed that he fathered medicine and philosophy. Imhotep was the original doctor. Imhotep was the original architect. He designed the first step pyramid of Saqqara out of his own mind. Imhotep was a master builder. Imhotep was a scholar. He was a scientist. Imhotep was the father of philosophy. So not only did he know how to build outside, but he knew how to build people from the inside. Imhotep, a black man, did that. Whenever the white man came with the study of the molecular composition and the atomic origin of all matter and energy, he called it chemistry. Chemistry. The word chemistry stri means study of kill. Where well, Egypt's original name was Kemet. So when they wanted to study the origin of the molecules and the atomic structure of energy and matters, they didn't go to Europe and study. They studied in Kemet to learn the origin of all things. It is a shame for an African medical doctor or for an African medical student in the field of medicine to believe that an European is the father of medicine named Hippocrates. The greatest fraud in the science of medicine was to make this European man named Hippocrates the father of medicine. In Africa, we had Imhotep. Imhotep was the visa to Pharaoh Dojoza of the third political dynasty of Kemet in Egypt. Imhotep was a physician and the first medical doctor in history. He was born around 2,000 years ago before Hippocrates, this Greek European who was born around 460 BCE.
Hippocrates, who came to Africa, precisely Egypt, to study medicine, discovered that medicine has already been taught by this black African Egyptian named Imhotep thousands of years before he was born. Imhotep was worshipped by the Europeans, by the Greeks, as the father of medicine or as the god of healing thousands of years ago. The white people during that period called him Osilapios, which is the god of healing. Imhotep was a black African Egyptian. He was the first human being on earth to be deified. That is, he was the first human being on earth to be worshipped as a god. He was also the first human being to build the first pyramid in the world with his group of masonry engineers. They built the first pyramid called the Step Pyramid of Dojoza around 2780 BCE. The Europeans have done everything possible to deny Africans the legacy of their ancestors. You heard that? And a lot more, a lot more. Most of the times when we don't, we don't discover, we don't go into histories, there are a lot of things that are there hidden in plain sight. We wouldn't know these things until we begin to see. And it's, it's painful that they don't teach this in our schools. They don't teach our children these things. Most persons don't even know who is in hotel. When you talk about it, it's like, who is that person? But they know who hypocrisy is. Right? They, they, they know who he is. They know who whoever is. But our own, they push it aside. Now, when you talk about um, being fair and being just, are these people fair? Are they just? Because a lot of us Africans will even decide to give up our lives in defense of people like this. It's not that they don't know what they're doing. They know perfectly well what they are doing. They know what it is to be untaught, to be superiors. And that is why they try their best to erase everything that will make us look at ourselves as people of worth and of importance on the face of the earth. They are aware of what they do and they, are, they did it deliberately. They wipe out histories deliberately. They can go to any extent, even flooding the whole environment to wipe out histories deliberately. They know what they are doing. They are in control of everything. And that is why at this age and time where things are getting so tough on them, it's like the whole power they have is crashing down. They are still going extra miles to keep hanging on that place they are hanging. I'm talking about the elite, those who control the world, of course. And of course, they are pro-white. They are never of black. And that's why anything that will make an African get to understand how powerful he or she is, they erase that thing from the face of the earth. They try their best to hide it so perfectly. A lot of things that were invented by our people. Most of the time, they delete these people, they silence them and take the glory to themselves. You can name them a lot of things. We have given our all to the world for a, for a, for a peaceful world, a world that is livable. But there is always forces that try to thwart all the effort we put in. Like someone said in a comment of a video that, if Africa have these potentials and everything, why is it that she is still in the state she is in? When you have negative forces trying to pull you down, what, what, what do you do? And these forces even come to make friends with, with, with those that are from your land. They are making friends with your, your leaders. Because there's no way an enemy will come hurt you in your house without a connection of someone from your home. That is my belief. Before they have access to you, they had access to someone close to you. So they could be able to do whatever they want to do. And this is why we are in a state where we are today. Because we have failed ourselves in every way possible. There's no love anymore, no sincerity. And when you talk about various ways of healing and the rest of them it is seen as primitive they make you feel like that method is not proper it is you can count them there are lots of um african herbal doctors who have come out with uh, uh, healing uh, uh, results for a lot of 
some of this um, illness that they create to you know to put the number of the the population of the world in check especially that of africa they've come out with a lot of things to debunk their own what they feel it's impossible it can never be healed it can never be healed you will hear in al land that someone have created something that could heal and they'll come tell you no don't buy that that is not proper it's gonna damage your kidneys it's gonna affect you now our own medicine is seen as what will kill us like they'll make you feel like our own medicines destroys the kidneys and liver but their own that is chemicals do not there is no medicine you get that doesn't have side effects there is no orthodox medicine you get that doesn't have side effects i just hope that YouTube do not flag my video and I just hope that nothing happens to this because these are the things I really don't like. Because there was a video I put up here, that video is not like a mark on my channel, like a channel violation, I violated the whatever and that's why most of the time there are things that we can't see. Because um, if they flag me or bring down my channel, um, there is no way I can communicate with you. You get my point. As I most of the times we try our best to be in line with what is said, right? Um, so we could communicate with you. Because if the channel is broader, it's like all the hard work, the time and effort, and the, 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 the means to communicate is not there. Because a lot of you, I'm going to lose, lose a lot of you if that happens. Um, there's a lot more. There's a lot more. We feel that our own causes this but their own is heavenly their own is the best their own is like when originally we are the ones in touch in tune with the real thing originally we are the ones in communication with nature we are the ones that have everything in the palms of our hands right anyway what do you think leave your comments and thought they are the section and i will see you in my next one until then love yourself love others stay safe stay positive bye for now